when I was very young, I used to feel like biology sucks because I used to feel biology does not have any creativity. It is only about rote learning. There, there are no any formulas and there are no methods to express our own creativity. But slowly, slowly, I started feeling like we can express our creativity, but through words. The method is different, but yeah, the creativity is the same. So, in order to learn all this, I used to feel very much disgusting because I just hate rote learning. So, I started developing my own formulas and my own method of creativity. This picture looks very interesting than this one, right? But actually, this picture and this picture, the process is same. But only the method of knowing or only the method of remembering is different. So, let's go into this one. This is about sexual reproduction in mucor or fungi. So, these look more or less similar to like that of cartoons, right? One cartoon and the second cartoon. So let's con let's consider let's give a name for these cartoons. Let's give a name called hyphae for these cartoons. In plural we call it hyphae, but in singular if we have only this one cartoon, then it is termed as hypha, not hyphae. So among these cartoons as well, we have plus and minus cartoon. Plus cartoon is considered to be female because female are always positive except for coronavirus. And male, they are always negative as the whole world knows. Anyways, actually they do not have eyes and lips like this. But in order to remember all this process, I've made, as I've already said to you, that I've made a story. So it's only for that. Anyways, let's go into this. Hi, Faye. So, female and male, it's the first time they are meeting to each other. So, they started smiling to each other. And now, slowly they started talking to each other. That's why their lips are coming out. So, their lips are termed as progametangia. What? Progametangia. Their lips are termed as progametangia. And now... And now, oh my god, their lips are much, very much closer, I guess. <laughs> their, their lips do not have any distance at all. Anyways, or you can consider it as they're kissing each other because they have fallen in love. <sighs> Shh, don't say to anybody because your parents might be hearing this and they might be fed up of you. Anyways. Now, people say that if we have much more love to each other, then there might be some distraction distracting those love. So, the same happened to these lovebirds. Now, they started having wound on their lips called progametangia. Uh, and uh, the wound is termed as gametangia. From progametangia, it changed into gametangia because they started developing a wound through this and this line called septa. And they started feeling very much awkward in order to go in front of everybody else. So they rushed to hospital in order to do an operation of this because they were sticking to each other, having a wound on themselves. And the most important, during this process, actually this process is called conjugation. So during this process, there is the exchange of pheromone triasporic acid. What? Pheromone triasporic acid. So because of pheromone triasporic acid, we can consider it that there is the development of septa and let's consider through this story that there is the development of wound wound called gametangia and in order to and after doing that operation they start and they took off the wound and that wound is called zygospore so this is only the half part of it the remaining part you make the story you continue the story by yourself 
Thank you very much for watching.